What's going on YouTube? It's your man Brick, and I know I haven't uploaded in a while with the TLA, but the video quality wasn't up to my expectations on the gameplay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to recap all the games that we have up to this point with the box score from the video game, and then that's about from the game after episode 6 until about episode 15 what I had recorded. And then the next episode should be episode 7. Will be a much better game quality in my opinion. So without further ado, let's hit the recap. Alright, here's our first game against Team Blaze. Um, we see, as you can see at the top, it was only a 5 inning game because we were mashing in this one. Trey Turner hit a leadoff home run for our half. We were wheeling and dealing. They got a leadoff triple, and then an error scored them. I remember now, but they didn't give them an error. Um, nothing much happened for us in the second. Third inning, though, is where we went off. Jock Peterson hit for a single, was scored in Turner, who was on. And then Murakami hit a moonshot out of here to give us a 4-1 to lead. And then to end it off... Chipper Jones hit a two-run shot, and they said, Ejecto Cito, cuz. And that puts a wrap on the first game of this recap. Recap of episode seven. Here we go. We got it rolling. Pitchers duel through the first two innings, and then Lindor scores on a double, or Gallo scores on a Lindor double. My fault. Um, and then Quiet, and then we tack on two more in the fifth. Lindor gets another single that Lee Lynn scores on, excuse me, and then Brandon Marsh gets a fielder's choice that scores Gallo, bases were loaded there, too bad we couldn't score more there, um, and then we jump ahead to the eighth inning where we give up a more commie home run, but then the bottom half, Marsh triples getting on for, you know, your boy Chipper Jones, and then he hits another bomb, 403 to give us the win. We Williams came in, shut it down in the ninth, and on to the next one. For the next game, it was a quick one for us. We got it going in the second inning. We gave up a home run. Shocking. Chipper Jones crushed us, probably gave him a up and in fastball. Um, but then our grand all got a roll for us in the bottom half, hitting a double, scoring Murakami. And then Haim comes up with another double, scoring Lindor, or not Lindor, grand all. Surprisingly, he scored from second with that 16 speed. And then we get it, we get it rolling in the bottom half. Um, I, Turner got a double and then stole third and scored, I believe, on a pass ball. Or no, throwing error. Throwing error went into the outfield, and then the baseball gods, they're like, you need to dashboard right now and get out of this game before you embarrass yourself some more. So we got a dashboard win out of this one, so on to the next one. All right, here we go into the second game of this recap. Um, this one actually ended in a freeze-off, um, and I think we were just about starting to get hot. We gave up uh, a single that scored... Two for or scored Jeter for them in the first. Then we hop ahead to the fourth inning where we gave up a jazz home run. And it was probably me because I'm not the greatest pitcher sometimes. Um, and then yeah, then we tacked on one. We got, I got a bunt. Um, and then Lindor got us in, scored one. And then Morikami hit another nuke out of here. Making it 401 to tie it up, and then unfortunately, the MLB, the show gods, were like, No, you guys are done. And we ended in a freeze off, making this recap. We're one and one in this recap. Picking it up in the next game of this recap, Luke and I just played a duo on this one because Al got banned for backing out of the last freeze off. You shouldn't be banned for freeze offs. Um, and yeah, so Luke and I just played this one because Al was on a, on a band. Um, as you can see, we 
Started out with scored good, and then Door hit a home run to start it off in the second, but or in the third, excuse me. But that's all we can muster as they Henry Henderson hit a home run for him. Grandall, there's that Grandall again, hitting another home run. Um, then a cluster happened on that play, and then we got out of that inning. Jump ahead to the bottom of the fifth. Oh, that was the bottom of the fifth. Whoops. Um, and then, yeah, they tack on two more in the eighth. We just couldn't get anything rolling in this game. It kind of stinks because I feel we're better when we're all three of us are playing. And you'll see that later on. So on to the next. Before we move on to episode 11, recap that I had filmed, we're going to cut over to... Byler Turk for a stats update. Take it away, Byler. Welcome to TLA Center. It's your boy, Byler Turk. And we're going to recap the first 10 games of the new season. And that will be the show for Team TLA. So, All right. So, so far through the new season, this is how the team's looking out. Um, Al has one less game play than Tyler and Luke because, you know, MLB the show. Um, so yeah, uh, Tyler's leading the team in batting average with a two eighty three, off to a rocky start compared to last season. Last season he was the hottest player on the team. Um, Al is still striking out a lot. Um, got that batting average down to one seventy nine. Luke. He's a better hitter. He's going to get up there. He's batting 186 right now, but we'll get there. Tyler leading the team in home runs like he always does, bringing that pop. Um, But one thing that has changed since season one, if you saw, there's, there is highlights, playlists on my YouTube. Go check it out, season one. Um, a big difference from season one to season two so far. LZRA is down. He was up in the high fives for a long period of time. Now he is down to a one five seven. Flipped the script a little bit. Luke, who had the best ERA in season one, has the highest ERA. So hopefully the boys can bounce back. They're five and five right now. They're on a two game losing streak. But uh yeah. So till next time, it's Byler Turk signing off. See ya. All right, here we go into episode 11's recap. Um, this one was just me and Al because Luke had to work. Um, but, yeah, this was a pitcher's duel throughout the whole game until the bottom of the eighth. They tacked one on via a Jazz Chisholm home run to deep center, and then that really took the wind out of our sails. So... Tough loss. We didn't really get the bats rolling at all. We we struck out. How many times did we strike out? We struck out 13 times, which isn't bad. But again, we faced that guy named Bob Gibson once again. Um. So yeah, here we go. On to the next. Let's see if we can bounce back. All right, for this one, we're going to double dip into episode 12 and 13's recap on this one. Because for episode 12, there really much, wasn't much going on. Because they just paused and quit on us once there wasn't that bad. They had a strikeout as you can we're, or we they struck out three we struck out three times and they only had one at bat and they're just like, Yeah, we don't wanna play you guys. So then on to the next one. Again, we were this was back and forth. We got on the board early. Cronenworth, we were feeling ourselves. We were up 3 nothing, And then we got humbled real fast by a Casas home run that scored two. And then we gave up an Otani bomb in the fourth. Gallo hit one a moon shot somehow. 470. We get one back in the top half of the six with another Cronenworth, his second home run of the game. And then the wheels fell off in the seventh. Gallo hit another home run. Morikami hit a home run. That was a three run shot. And then we just couldn't get anything going in the eighth or ninth. 
So it was a hard fought loss for us. We're just losing that. We got the lead back. We were we were down. No, we were tied. Sorry, we were tied. And then you know we were trying to feel good. We were getting the momentum back, and then having that big seventh run, seven, four run seventh inning. My wish I could talk. Um, just kind of took the sails out of us when we only had two two innings left to score four runs. So hopefully we can bounce back in the next seven. So here we go. And for the final recap of this episode, we're going to do 14 and episode 15. 15 I already recorded, so that will just add on to that. Um, but yeah, episode 14 was a quick one. As you can see, I hit um, a leadoff home run with Trey Turner. And then just like, yeah, we're done. See ya. Because it was a 10 pitch at bat. I battled, I battled, I battled. And I was just not giving up. And then I hit that solo shot. So, on to episode 15. Alright, here's the final box score of this recap. As you see, we couldn't. We came up on the short end on this one. Um, I got to start off with a leadoff homer against Bob Feller, who we always face in co-op. It just seems like we, see, we face Dustin May, Bob Feller, and... Pretty much those two pitchers all the time, either in the bull, coming out of the bullpen or starting. Um, but I got it going. Trey Turner with the home run. We give it up right back, along with a couple more. We get one back in the bottom half of the second. Jump ahead to the fourth inning. We give up a single. Grand Doll always kills us against us. It's just so infuriating. And we that was a single. Um, so then we jump ahead to the eighth. We we tack we get one back in the eighth. Verdugo hits a bomb, and then we can't get any going. I think, and then we ended up losing this one. This one ended kind of weird because Lindor gets struck out on a drop third strike, and it was kind of like the last episode where he got tagged out going round to the base. It was weird. I know it doesn't say that in the box or the game log, but it was just a weird ending to this one. So, final episode of this recap. Thanks for watching. I know hopefully the videos are much better going forward. Um, don't forget to like, subscribe, share, tell your family about it, tell your friends about it, tell your enemies about it. Dislike, like, anything helps. Um, links to Twitter, Twitch, Al's Twitch are going to be down below in the description. Until next time, see ya.